we're all loners. Big family, but we all just do our own shit. And we, I, last thing, like the same way I don't want to like, like the way I've been paying for three cell phone numbers <laughs> for, <laughs> for the last, I don't even realize it. To do the backstory, one time I was on the fucking road and Nia calls me up. She goes, why do you have like three different cell phone numbers? What the fuck? Are you living a double life? Yeah. And I go, I don't. I got one. She goes, no, you got three. I go, no, I don't. I got one. She goes, I'm looking at the bill right now. And what it was, was (laughs) it was back in the 2000s. I was like, I was so confused slash angry slash annoyed slash, okay, maybe it's just not what I think it is or whatever. But I'm like paying all the bills since you're on the road. So I'm like going through everything. And I'm like, this motherfucker has three numbers. Why? <laughs> Why on earth would he have three phone, three numbers? I've only seen one phone. Does he have a secret phone, like a secret cell phone? I got a little flip phone. Because I know men do that sometimes. They have a secret little bat phone. All right. This is what it was. About. This is what it was back in like 15 <laughs> fucking years ago. <laughs> Wasn't that maybe 12, 12 years ago? It was when I was with you. Mm-hmm. I would go on the road, and this is before like smartphones and all of that, and you had to get the internet. And you'd, I'd go to these hotels, and they would charge me like twelve ninety nine a day, fifteen ninety nine a day, and I wasn't making shit on the road. And it would fucking it would add up. And that was still back when you know you'd get sides for your auditions emailed to you. Then you had to go down to the the fucking the thing in the lobby and business center and print it out. So they came up with these little things. They look like hockey pucks. These little round things that you you'd get your own internet. I think uh-huh. Bobby Kelly, dude, you gotta get this, dude. Oh, right? Oh yeah, my dad had one of those. Yeah, and it, plug it in, and it came it, with like yeah. a phone number or something. Okay. So I got one of those. They explained how to do it. I did it one time. It worked. It didn't work again. And then I forgot about it Mm -hmm. to the point I forgot I even had it. And then I got another one. (laughs) And then that that one, I just, you know, after a while, I just got a smartphone and I never look at my bill. I just look, what does it cost? Yeah. So then, you know, years later. So you've been paying for this number. I've been paying extra $50 a month. (laughs) And they're still on my bill. What are you going to take it off then? I, I, mean, I don't want to. I would rather pay 50 bucks a fucking month than have to sit there. And, and I'm not going to get upset. I, I can't <laughs> fucking deal with calling up and going. I need to cancel this. I am no longer using that's it. That's not how it works, though. You go in and, they, and, and it goes like, um, you know, what, you know, it's the robot. And then it's going like, you know, if you want to do this, press one. If you want to do that, press two. And you always are existing at like one and a half. It's like a little bit three, but a little bit four. And you're just like operator. Operator, operator. Operator. You press zero. I'm sorry. That doesn't fucking work. And then the worst thing ever is you get on and you say, yeah, who am I speaking with? Uh, William Burr. Uh, can I get your zip code? Can I get you your fucking All first, that you first goldfish's name? Can I get this? Can I get that? Can I get that? And then you tell them what the problem is and they go, okay, I'm going to have to transfer you to somebody else. I'm like, hello. And then they go, okay, who am I speaking to? What is your zip code? What is the name of your God? It's like, I just fucking told you. See, here I go. I fucking told you all that shit. And yeah, I don't want to deal with that shit. So you'd rather continue to pay this bill for the rest of your life? No, I want to take them off. Of course I want to take them off. I just, you know, that's not my top priority, Nia, is not fucking call. You saw when I tried to get the NFL network. I was on the phone for fucking 90 motherfucking minutes with people in Southeast Asia who didn't even know what was hockey. Yeah, you did really good. I was very proud of you that day. You were so... Calm. You were so polite. You didn't like freak out. No, you missed part of it when you left. I was just oh. like, listen, yeah, you know, I'm not trying to be a jerk, but like, this is your second language, and you don't even know what the sport is. I'm talking. This would be like if you called me up, and I, you know, Rosetta stoned how you speak, and you you want to watch cricket. Rosetta stoned. Yeah, and they would just. <laughs> she just goes, "I'm sorry, I'm in Asia. Is that going to be a problem?" And then I felt bad. I'm like, "No, it's not a problem. You you know what I'm saying?" She goes, "No, I get it." She was actually great. The first person was a fucking idiot. He wasn't a fucking idiot. He just was not a smart person. He, he, he lacked the tools for that situation. So, no, I have, I have to do it. There's so many fucking... If you knew the amount of fucking money that I throw away <laughs> because I don't want to deal with the infrastructure. Right. The amount of times I've bought a plane ticket. 
Okay, I buy a fucking plane ticket and then the thing gets canceled and I don't go. I don't call up. I just eat the price of the ticket. I do it all all the fucking time. All the fucking time. Because I am not going to www.delta.org. I'm not fucking doing it. I'm not doing it. Your travel person do it. Like when I wasn't able to go to, to Nashville, I emailed her and I said, I'm not able to go. And then I'll get it. Oh, no. good. I thought I ate that ticket. No. And she's like, I'm going to cancel it. And I said, I'm going to get a note from my doctor. And so maybe we'll be able to get reimbursed. And she's like, yeah, I just canceled it. Like, let me know and we'll do what we can. I literally like, I think I'm paying for, I paid for a hotel room Sunday night because we were going to be there through Sunday night. Yeah. And rather than just stopping at the fucking front desk and just dealing with that, I just leave. <laughs> you never check out. I don't check out. You never do like the hi. I'm leaving. How was your stay? Enjoyable. You just fucking. I leave. Walk out the door. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, wait, don't we have to check out? You're like, ah, eh, don't send me the bill. <laughs> They'll figure it out. <laughs> you never take the time to check Nate, out. There's only you're the first you know, only person I know that doesn't go down there and is like, okay, goodbye. I'm leaving. Here's the key. See you later. You just fucking walk. No, out I just the leave. Door. I've done that with like rental cars. One time I got so shit faced so late into the night and I didn't realize I had a 6 a.m. flight. I got up and I was still drunk and I was like, I can't fucking, I, I tried to drive. I was like, I can't drive. And my GPS wasn't working because I was in like fucking, you know, elk deer fucking Montana or some shit. I was up in Canada. Elk deer. <laughs> yeah, yellow knife. You know, they have all that shit. <laughs> They're like, they're like us, you know, they wiped out the Indians and then they just name shit after them to make themselves feel better. Right? No, we didn't Who's do that. Who's like us? Canadians. Well, oh. like white people. Right. Yeah, you're not included in no, that. No, I was going to say. Watch a Trump rally. You're not, you're not a part of that. So, anyways, like, yeah, I remember one time I was, and I just, I gave the keys to the guy at the hotel. I go, hey, can you take that back for me? I'm too drunk. Yeah, yeah, don't fucking worry about it. And I was so fucking shit-faced. That like when two weeks later they called me up going, yeah, where's the car? I was sitting there and I always give a <laughs> fake number. Right. So I'm like, what do you mean? I brought it back. How the fuck did you get this number? Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, sir, it hasn't come back yet. I go, I, I fucking, I dropped it off. I just kept hanging up on him. And I don't know, there was something like the third time they called. I finally was just like, started thinking. I was just like, wait a minute. Did I bring that back? And I called up Verzi. And I was like, Verzi, did we bring that car back? And he was just like, oh, dude, I don't know. I don't remember. Because, you know, because he was, you know, we were all pretty fucking, we were out there. And uh, Barton couldn't remember. And then I was just like, wait a minute, dude. There was a gig I did, and I gave the keys to someone at the hotel. (laughs) Was that that gig? And then we figured out that it was that gig. And then they drove down, and it was sitting there. That cost me like 1200 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> do you realize the you house we could be living in? Ridiculous. No, I do it. It's so ridiculous. I do ridiculous. it all the fucking time. Because I don't give a shit. I don't. To, to money to me is just, you're just writing a number on a piece of paper. And it's just like, it's just if you just get past the fact that it actually has value. Do you know what if a you just, just position listen. you're in to be even to be saying that? I've always been that $50 way. $50 a month is a lot to a lot of people to just be throwing away. You know what I mean? Like, that's the thing Listen, about don't it. guilt me because, Nia, I you fucking, time out. Time out. It, no, though. fuck that, Nia. Fuck that. I didn't know anybody in this business. I didn't take the safe fucking route. Okay, and go for the fucking, I'm going to go do something else. I you fu- earned the right to blow $50 yeah. a month on numbers. No, it's my computer. fucking money. I, I don't want to fucking deal with that shit. I, I, I tried to be in the office area. I wore a fucking tie. I tried to do it. I sat in on meetings, and I literally just, all I would think about is, like, whoever was talking, I wanted to run right at them, dive over their shoulder right through the fucking window, and nosedive into the fucking parking lot. I can't live in that fucking world, so I picked this shit. Where 99.9% of people fail. All right. So I took all of my chips. I put it on the fucking zillion to one shot. And it fucking came in. And one of the perks of my fucking business is I don't check out. (laughs) (laughs) I walk out. 
I walk out. I don't want to talk to you. I fucking hate when I get into the fucking. Just leave me alone. That's the thing. Just you don't want leave to, me. You don't want to the talk fuck. to anybody who's like, "Hi, can I help you? Let me get this right." You just you don't ever want to deal with any type of customer service <laughs> on any level. No, leave me even alone. If they're helping you. You don't even want to deal. No, with them. just leave me. I hate when I check into a hotel and then there's a phone call. And you pick up, hello. Oh, hey, hi, Mr. Bird. Just checking to make sure everything was all right I with know your you room. Hate that this is so like, much. You yeah. hate room. You hate uh, housekeeping services. Turn down service. Turn down. You hate all of that. <laughs> oh my God! I, when I, my last one, like the lady was coming in. I'm like, she's knocking on the door. She, hey, I'm so. I'm like, I'm all right. I'm all right. She just kept coming. I'm like, I'm all right. <laughs> like, get out of here. <laughs> I feel like I paid for that fucking room. I got the sign hanging out on the other. What the? Do I have to have a guard out there? He wants to be left alone. What the fuck? What, what the fuck does that mean? Is, is everything all right with the room? First of all, I'm an adult. If there was, yeah, there's. I'm glad you called. There's water pouring in. I didn't know what to do. The fucking room's fine. The bed is on the ground. <laughs> there's a mattress. And I lie on it. I know how to use everything in here. That's it. Oh. That's it. Whenever we go to hotels, if we're on vacation or anything, and I'm like, Bill, can you, especially if we're in a foreign country, I'm like, Bill, can you call down and you know ask them if they can make reservations or whatever, if it's like a different language? Bill always goes, no, no, no. You're better at that stuff than I am. And I'm like, all you have to do... <laughs> Is ask them to do something, and he's like, "No, no, no, I can't, I can't." No, I'm not. You have to do it. I'm, I'm not, not good at it. I'm not good at it. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I actually, when I got to Nashville so early, right? Um, and I, I went into like the the Sky Lounge thing. I'm not gonna say the airline I always fly, right? But I, I, I've, you know, I finally somebody convinced me to fucking, you know, go into the Sky Lounge area, right? So I go, all right, I'll fucking do that. But then the stupid, but it, that thing's fucking stupid because then you have to get to the airport early. To make it worth it. It's like, I don't want to be here. I want to get here as late as possible, immediately get on the plane and get the fuck out of here, right? So anyways, I got really there really early to Nashville. Didn't know that my fucking plane was going to catch on fire. So I go in there and they go, uh, I go, yeah, I got, you know, I don't have my card on me. And then they go, you know, what's your name? What was the name of your goldfish and all of that fucking <laughs> shit? And I go through all of that. And then she, she looks up, she goes, oh, here you are. And um, I never use miles either. That's another thing. I always get miles, but I've never used them. Yeah. Because I don't want to go on the fucking website and deal with all that. I just, how much does it cost? I'll write it on this piece of paper and fuck off, right? So she looks in and her eyes just go like, like big as saucers. She goes, you have 824,000 freaking fly miles. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, do I? Yeah, it's cool. I thought you have used Yeah, them. you want them? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I, I ain't going on the fucking website. I thought you used miles in the past when I first started flying with you to gigs. Didn't you use them then? When I was making no money, when I made no fucking money, and then we were going to go on vacation, Yeah. and I wanted to fly first class, I would use up, they would use up all of my miles. Right. But then once I started making money... It's like, I don't have to fucking deal with that anymore. I hated doing that because I'd call my travel agent and say, oh, I'm sorry, I can't do that. You have to log on. Just go to fucking Continent. I used to fly Continental out of uh -huh. Newark all the time. You'd uh -huh. have to go to, I, Nia, I, I'm not good at it. I fucking hate it. I would rather, I, I would rather just, just, just give, you give me the ask, money. You have to ask our travel person to do it. Do you know that when I went to meet you, no, when I went to Chicago. Hey, if I get over a million, do the pilots come back and say hello like uh, they did with George Clooney in that movie? Maybe. <laughs> I'm getting up there. You are getting up there. But um, I, got, I got bumped or something like that. And so they give uh, they give you the voucher, like it's a three hundred dollar voucher and, and whatever uh, whatever it is, three hundred dollar voucher. Do you know I took that, I scanned it, and I emailed it to her, and I said, by the way, I got this voucher, so if you can use it towards Bill's next flight, and she was like, oh great, actually I can. I'm like so on top of that shit. <laughs> you would have been like, eh, this fucking voucher. You know how many times and, like, I got a voucher? In a trash. I've never. No, I, I lose it. I don't even know where it is. Yeah. No, I hope. What am I? Some old lady eating cat food? <laughs> Once again, this is something that like most people would be like, "Oh, good, I can use this towards the next thing," and you're just like wiping no. your ass with it. 
I'm not wiping my ass with it in the eye. Look how I dress. Like I look, I got corduroy. I'm dressed like Malcolm Young on the Power Age tour. <laughs> Some old white dudes get that reference. I just, <laughs> I live within my fucking means, and it affords me an ability to not have to sit there. He got a voucher. <laughs> Stand there. <laughs> All right, sorry, the batteries just died there. I had to cut this out. Yeah, you, you, first of all, you're, you're making it seem like I'm this spoiled rich kid who goes around burning, hun- like lighting $100 bills on fire. Yeah, I've always fucking been that way. I've never, like, when I, when I wasn't making any fucking money and I was staying at the Ocho de la Super way back in the day, right? And they'd always have, like, the continental breakfast. And you got to get down here by 10 a.m. And I, I did it, like, one time. And I'm standing in line with all these people with these fucking old loafers, hoping they're not going to run out of batter for, for the <laughs> Waffle, fucking waffles. For the and, I'm, waffle and I'm just sitting there going, like, I can go to Denny's like a gentleman and just sit down and order a fucking waffle. I don't need a free fucking waffle. You know what I mean? That's, like, miserly shit to me. Mm-hmm. I get a voucher. All of that shit. I'm not, I'm, like... I remember one time I was so fucking mad. They fucked me over so bad on this plane that I actually did that old lady shit. And I, and I walked in and I was like, I've been waiting and I paid for this and blah, blah, blah. And my bag took all this fucking time. And then they were just like, all right, all right. You know, you got to go on the website. And I was like, I know what you, because you don't think I'm going to do it. You don't think I'm going to do it. I went home and I fucking did it. And I took all of that time. And then there was, you know, they just kept calling, you know, emailing me back. And I kept having to confirm shit. And then I finally just said, ah, fuck it. I just, I don't have the, I don't have that fight in me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I don't wait for sales or any of that shit. So if I need it, I go in and I fucking buy it. And whatever it costs me, if that means I can't do something else in my life, I just won't do that. But, like, you, for me, you cannot put a price on getting that over with as quick as fucking possible. Yeah. No, I'm giving you a hard time, but you do have a very healthy attitude about money. You're really good with money. You've taught me a lot about being responsible about money, but I think I have definitely that mentality of taking advantage of little stuff like that and like, oh my God, this costs extra. Like I have to like cut it out, even if it does inconvenience me in some way. Like I just have that. I am a coupon person. I am a sale person. I'm always like, but it was on sale. It's discounted. Like that's still oh, the yeah, way I love my that mind shit. works. I love that shit. Yeah, it was on sale. Yeah, it was still 700 bucks. So you go the other way. <laughs> but yeah, mean? but it was on sale. <laughs> all of your, your, your fucking shoes and shit, all of this shit. That yeah, everything been... that I buy, for the most part, is on sale. I use so many discounted websites. Yeah, but it's still and... expensive as shit. Yeah, but it's not as expensive. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know, I walk around and like American Airlines is going to give me a free peanut butter and jelly sandwich because it, fucking, it was 20 minutes late. And I'm like, hey, dude, you know what? Keep your fucking sandwich. I'll buy my own sandwich. And you're making me act like I'm a fucking, you know... A Trump or some shit, <laughs> and you're over there buying like a thousand dollar pair of shoes. Oh, it's on fucking sale. <laughs> I don't know. Like, you know something? Uh, there, there's people that I grew up with that were really miserly like that. You know, and they yeah. didn't they didn't leave good tips, and they just blah 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 blah. It's just it's just fucking paper. Just give it to them. Make them happy and let's get the fuck out of here. But when you don't have... <laughs> let's just but get the don't, fuck out of here. But if you don't here. have a lot of it, you have to be miserly. You have to find a way to like survive yeah, and get that. what you want yeah, and I still that. have some to live. I moved to New York City. I ate spaghetti every night. I had a chair that became a fucking table. I ate... I did that all the fucking time. I can live yeah. on fucking nothing. I did it. But you know something? I still had money... In the bank because I saved up for my day jobs because I knew New York was going to be expensive and I wasn't going to be that fucking guy going, oh, God, you know, I'm down to my last 20 bucks. How are you down to your last 20 bucks? Mm -hmm. How did you get yourself into that fucking situation? Okay, I'm talking about white male heterosexual. How the fuck did you get yourself in that situation? You fucked up. You fucked up your money. You're an adult. Right. So. You know how much money you're making. You know what your fucking bills are. Mm-hmm. But, you know, you start making money, and for the first half of the month, you, you're, you're walking around acting like you make three times as much, and then the end of the fucking month, you're going to come to me and act like a fucking pound puppy, like you're, you know, like the world did you wrong. It's like, no, you fucked yourself over. 
I believe you guys say you played yourself. You played yourself. Congratulations. <laughs> you played yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's why I hate going to the bank at the beginning of the month. I hate it. It's a bunch of people whose money is fucked up. Okay, and it's depressing to see because they should have been educated on how fucking money works. What do you mean? The first of the month when people get paid and they're like- or paydays, Saturdays, the day when the general fucking public goes is in there. The bank? Every fucking fifth person is in there yelling through that bulletproof glass and can't understand. It's 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 basic fucking math. Right. You put two hundred in there. You withdrew two hundred. <laughs> so you don't. You have don't have any money left. <laughs> I don't know. It's very rare that I fucking stick up for the banks, but when there's fucking people in there, I mean, there's all this information online. You know what I mean? There's all this. This I don't know. I don't know. I always had a job. I had I had a paper route since I was in third grade. And then I had money for my football cards and my candy bars. I, I, I had my overhead was fine. And I remember my friends were always like, oh, I'm broke. Oh, I'm fucking broke. I'd be like, get a fucking paper route. Oh, I don't want to get up. Well, then go fuck yourself. <laughs> supposed to feel bad for you because you can't get doubles at lunch? You got to go to your mother? How old are you? Oh, I mean, are we eight years old? Are we eight years old? <laughs> Oh, I'm on my fucking soapbox. Right? You, everybody should live the way I do. A little enterprising BB. <laughs> I wasn't enterprising. I just fucking made money, and then I always had it, and I didn't blow it off. The idea of you was a paper route, so you had money with for football cards and candy. It's the cutest thing I've ever oh, heard. Oh, it's the greatest thing. I love football cards, and I, I used to go down. I used to ride my bike up to the corner store. And I would be, I would sit there, little freckle faced me going, do, do, do top football cards come out yet? Oh my and they'd be God. like, no, I'm sorry. And I, I would check every single day. Oh my God. And when they You're came so out. so cute. When I came out, me and all my friends would buy them and then we'd sit there trading them and stick in the big fucking piece of shit gum that they had <laughs> that always fucked up the football card, usually the best one in the pack. And you'd sit there and cut the roof of your mouth because you're trying to <laughs> chew it down. And we would just sit there and, yeah. Root beer, candy, just all fucking sugar. Yeah. Just going through. I got Bob Greasy. I got OJ Simpson. I got Walter Payton. All these guys way back then. Randy White, Jack Lambert. I still remember all their names. It was fucking great. Robert Newhouse, rest so his soul. Cute. Yep. I used oh to make God. like six dollars a fucking week. I was loaded. Oh, that's a lot. No, I was that's a fucking lot. loaded. <laughs> How old were you when you started the paper room? Third grade? So you're third like, grade, so you're like third eight grade, years old, and I I kept it all the way to like freshman in high school to the point of like you know when the child star is just not cute anymore. <laughs> 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 no one wants a six foot paper boy. I wasn't. I'm not six feet tall, but that's just a funny number. Um, yeah. So then then I and then I immediately went from that to then I just had like a there was this weird time where I just didn't I didn't have a job because I was mm-hmm. too old to be a paper boy. I felt. And then I was, but I was too young to have a job. Yeah. Did you have a job in high school? Well then, so when I quit my paper route, I didn't have any fucking money coming in and I was not used to that. Uh I I hadn't dealt with that since I was way back in the second grade. (laughs) (laughs) This was a crisis. This was my first 2008 that I went through. So I actually went down, I think it was to the, the principal's office and I got a worker's permit that allowed me to work underage, uh, is that what I did? Yeah, to get this job that I wanted. And during the summertime, I used to caddy. Uh huh. I used to caddy, and, and I used to try to get doubles, you know, which is two bags. And, you know, you'd just be running from one guy to another guy. And hopefully, you know, it was always really bad when one guy really fucking sucked. But if they both sucked, it was brutal. If one guy sliced and the other guy hooked and they both were fucking righties, that was going to be a long afternoon for you. And, um, yeah. I used to do that, you know. It was a couple, I love hearing about the, like your childhood stuff that you did. I just like it's just so funny to me because now I'm picture. At first, I pictured you, little cutie freckle face with your cards and your bubble gum and your and my your orange hair. And I your didn't. Orange I look like a little fucking. There's a such thing as an adorable scarecrow. That's what the fuck I look like. <laughs> and now you're like a high school kid. Running around the golf course with two golf bags on you. So you, you literally have worked your entire life. Yeah. Then I got this job at this place called Morse Shoe. And we were doing Morse the... Morse Shoe? Yeah. And it was like... we. I just meant this was the worst fucking job I ever had as far as just like mind-numbingly fucking 
it felt like 20 hours. It was like a two, two hours at the end of every school day. I'd take the bus over, and then I would fucking walk home like two miles or some shit like that. Back when you just do that as a kid, just walk along a fucking highway and nobody gave a fuck, right? <laughs> and uh, they had like these little cards, these computer cards with numbers on them, and you had these order forms, and you had the, these little manila envelopes. I still don't know what the fuck it was. It was something for them to then feed into this computer. This was like 1984 or some shit. Um, I hated that job. Um, then I then I got into warehousing, yeah. and when I got into warehousing, then I got my first loan. My dad co-signed the loan, and I for the car for the car. Yeah, but I put all the down payment. He didn't pay a dime of it. I bought the whole fuck. I got a three year loan from Danvers Savings Bank, one yeah, Conant well. Street. I still remember writing the thing. It was one thirty eight sixty three a month. Still remember that shit. Mm-hmm. Paid that whole fucking thing off. Uh, ended up getting another paper route with the truck, where I would I would drive in the morning. You just went back to the, the paper route was all like your fault. But I did the or... warehousing during the day. No, then I had two jobs, and and I was also uh, then I got rid of that thing. Just because my friends teased me. Oh, what are you, a fucking paper boy? And it felt stupid. It was great. <laughs> You're like, yes. <laughs> no, but it was like an extra 100 bucks a week, which was huge, right? So I ended up quitting that. And um, the fuck did I go from there? I tried selling newspaper subscriptions. Didn't you have like what, a telemarketing type of job? Yeah, or? I had that. But when I went yeah. to college, I went to college part-time, and I paid for my education. Mm-hmm. And uh, all the way to like my, my last year. Uh, my parents helped me out with that. And I also got a loan from another family friend, but I, I paid all of them back. Mm-hmm. I paid all of them back before I moved down to New York. Now, then I start once when I started doing stand up, I also had a day job and, uh, and I was still living at home and I was still driving that piece of shit truck that I bought in 85 the red truck. Right. Right. And I drove that thing for 10 fucking years. And I remember when the engine died. And I was at work and somebody was going like, so now what are you going to do? You know, what are you going to buy? And I was thinking of buying and I was going to buy like a Toyota Corolla or just something like a comic car that could, you know, go like 200,000 miles. And I finally was just like, fuck this, man. I know I want to move to New York. I can spend like, you know, like a new car, like a Corolla back then was like this early 90s was like like 11, 12 grand, which was a ton of fucking money, especially for me at that time. And uh, or I could just spend 1500 bucks and have them rip the engine out and put a new one in. So that's what I did. And I just remember this yeah. woman at work. I've told this story before. She just said, she goes, where's the new car? They've got a new car. I said, ah, oh, you know what? I just, I just had a new engine put in my truck instead. And she just made this face. She was just like, that was stupid. <laughs> and fucking walked away. And she was really beautiful too. And I was just like, you know what? It probably was stupid. Because <laughs> I guess if I got the new car, I could have banged you. I don't know. So, um, so I had that truck and that, that was the one, like the last, my first three years of comedy, I drove around doing that thing. Uh, that's when I met Patrice. He wrote everybody that I knew from back then rode around in that thing. And then, uh, long story short, there was an electrical fire and it burned down right before I moved to New York, which was fine because having a, a car in New York is a pain in the ass. So when I moved down to New York, I had no debt. I paid off my student loans. I had no credit card debt. I had I got myself out from. I had like seven hundred, the revolving seven hundred bucks. With the credit card debt, I just got myself out of it, and I didn't buy anything. I was like Jimmy the Jet. Take it back. Don't buy anything. Don't fucking... If I could say any advice to any young person out there, okay? When you're young is when they give you those credit cards, man, do not fucking rack those. And if you have, you got to knock those, knock those fucking things down. Yeah. Okay? You know, figure out what the fuck you want to do before you're involved in some sort of serious relationship, which is going to be like, but I want to live here. Fuck all of that. Get on the path you want to get on. Eat your fucking spaghetti in the morning. You know, whatever you got to whatever you got to fucking do. If you got to deliver papers in the fucking morning and all this other (laughs) shit to do it. I got and who knows? Those... Maybe then you too can have fucking nine cell phone numbers <laughs> and Maybe not want not want to get on the can phone. Walk out of a can you help me with that? Can you seriously help me with that? Can you yes. just can you just, can you just like do that for me? Yes, I mean I'm, I can I can get through half of it for you, but then eventually you. I'll just be in the background, the and when when they ask the questions, yeah, I will help you do that because it's ridiculous that you're continuing to pay for that. That's that's. But I also oh, thought too because. Pointless. I thought I, I signed a contract on him, so I'm worried that there's, I can't there's get out. Always, there's always ways to negotiate your ways out of that. Like I'm, I'm good at that stuff. Yeah, Tell like, him that I died. 
No, I'm not going to do that. And that you, you're taking over the thing because then they'll feel bad. <laughs> no, we're going <laughs> to we'll figure it out without telling anybody that you died. Okay. Well, I'm no, I'm I'm really, done for the fucking year as far as gigs. You want to do that? Let's 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 get rid of those other two. Yeah, let's I want to see what my any, bill's going to do. Let's get rid of any like extra shit you're paying for because you don't want to deal. Yeah, let's let's take care of that, please. That no, I have great. a lot of shit like that. Uh, there's other things that I I mean when like I bought what? when I bought this laptop, I was just they were like, "Do you want to take any classes or anything like that?" and blah blah, and I signed up for all of them. To, what do you mean? At, like the me? Apple Store classes to like teach you how to fucking get better at this oh, shit god like you were ever actually going to do that nope never even went <laughs> once <laughs> oh did you tell did you tell the listeners how you ordered like 20 of those adapters for your new iphone 7 no what i did was <laughs> i was so mad that i ordered five of them <laughs> and, and then they were just like, yeah, it's going to be 10 business days. And I was like, fuck, I can't listen to my music for 10 days. How am I going to get through my workout? And then the next day I went, I drove down to the Apple store and then they had a bunch of them. So I said, fuck it. And I bought five there. And yeah. now when I came back, I got another five. So now I got 10 of them. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you married, complete Neil. Complete waste of money. Again, it's not a complete waste, waste of money. Of money. All right. Well, good. Well, it's a good thing I got advertising here so I can fucking blow it on all my cell phone numbers <laughs> and adapters. All right.